hello friends welcome back to the python programming session so we had earlier started with the atm software program i've completed three sessions on atm software this will be my fourth session in the first session let me execute the code in the first session we added the background image the label and the various buttons which require for the atm software in the second session we added the entry widget the label widget and the button widget which we require for each of these options and in the third session we saw how we can hide the widgets and how we can show the widgets for each of our requirement or or as per our needs and in this session let's see the functionality for account balance and withdraw cash so first let me go to my account balance initially let me say hide underscore widgets and i'll pass the parameter value not parameter value equal to a so when i pass a for balance inquiry in hide underscore widgets when e is equal to equal to a it will hide all the withdraw widgets deposit widgets and change pin widgets so all the three widgets withdraw screen deposit screen and change pin screen details will be hidden now let's make all all the label widgets as blank so show underscore label dot config text equal to blank similarly Similarly, let me have my withdraw underscore label also blank. Let me have my deposit underscore label also blank. Let me have my balance underscore label also blank as of now. later i will update it with the required value then let me have my old old underscore pin it's blank new underscore pin dot config text equal to blank so after making all the labels blank i have to update my balance label in the balance functionality so let me have my variable called text underscore bal which is equal to your current balance is colon rupees then a concatenated operator and str of balance 1 balance 1 is the variable which holds our balance value and now let me see let me update my balance label and the text now is not blank i'll update it to text underscore bal so whatever balance is there in my variable it will get updated when i click on the account balance button so now when i execute it i'm having account balance i'll click on it it will say your current balance is 98456.25 paisa so whatever balance was there in the balance 1 variable which i initialized above 98456.25 will get displayed so my account summary is working fine as of now 
So all the labels are blank. Only the balance underscore label has been updated with the required value. Now let's move ahead with the withdraw functionality. For withdraw functionality, initially I should say show underscore widgets with value is W. W so if W stands for withdraw it will show all the widgets which are required for the withdraw screen and I am saying hide underscore widgets again it is equal to W so it will hide all the widgets it will hide all the widget except for the withdraw screen widgets then I am making all the labels blank. So let me copy the same value. So all the labels are blank as of now. Now I have to display a text to the user indicating how much money he wants to withdraw. So text underscore withdraw equal to enter the amount you wish to withdraw. Enter the amount you wish to withdraw. To withdraw. And this value has to be displayed in my withdraw label. So withdraw underscore label dot config text equal to text underscore withdraw. Now I have to have a button so button 1 is the button which is already there in the withdraw screen dot config command equal to show so now I'll write the functionality for the show function I'm taking global balance because I'll be updating it over in this function global balance one global balance one and now I'll check for the condition if the withdraw amount is greater than my balance it should give a message telling withdraw amount is greater than balance otherwise we have to subtract the withdraw amount from from the balance we have to sub from the balance we have to subtract the withdraw amount so here i'm checking if int withdraw underscore entry dot get get is the function which gets the value entered by the user for withdrawing if it is greater than balance one balance one is the variable which is having my account balance so if the amount he wishes to withdraw is greater than balance one he cannot withdraw so an error message has to be shown on the show underscore label dot config text equal to withdraw amount is greater than balance greater than balance if not if it is less then I have to withdraw minus it from the balance else show underscore label dot config text equal to 
you have withdrawn concatenation symbol then rupees concatenation symbol withdraw underscore entry dot get so it will show the you have withdrawn rupees whatever value user has entered in the withdraw underscore entry widget now my new balance one will be equal to balance one minus int withdraw underscore entry dot get so balance will be balance one minus the withdraw amount so withdraw amount how do we get from withdraw underscore entry widget dot get method after my subtracting it i'll make my withdraw underscore entry widget as null so i'll delete the details delete 0 comma n so this is the functionality for the withdrawing the amount from the ATM software sorry from the ATM so now when I let me close this session let me execute it now so initially let me check my balance it is 98,456 now let me go to withdraw cash it will say enter the amount you wish to withdraw let me enter 1000 and let me submit it so it will say you have withdrawn rupees 1000 now let me go to my account balance my balance is 97 it was earlier 98456 since I withdraw 1000 rupees it is showing 97456.25 rupees so hope so friends it was clear for you now let me enter a withdraw cash which is greater than the balance let me enter something higher than the balance submit withdraw amount is greater than balance it will show an error it will show a message that the withdraw amount is greater than balance so hope so friends it was clear for you if you have any doubts so in this session we have completed account balance withdraw cash in the coming session let's see deposit cash and change pin log out and exit has already been completed so hope so friends it was clear for you if you have any doubts please do reach to me out in the comment section if you like my video click on the like button and please do subscribe to get notification of my new videos till then see you bye bye